Surrounded by support from their town and fellow communities, hundreds of students returned to class after a cafeteria shooting at Mattoon High School. And that's our top story tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Charlie Cottle. And I'm Mayor Kawash. Earlier today, Mattoon High School principal addressed the school encouraging students to continue supporting and helping each other after yesterday's shooting incident. Police say a student opened fire on another in the school's cafeteria, sending the entire district into a panic. Today, many of those same students returned to class a little on edge and leaning on each other for comfort. Students and staff of Mattoon Community High School gathered today to support one another after the shooting in the school's cafeteria yesterday afternoon. The school reopened today on a shortened schedule, a schedule that didn't include lunch hour in the cafeteria. School district officials say although students were allowed an excused absence today following yesterday's events, between 250 to 300 students still attended today's classes. Those students who chose to stay home today say it was just too painful to come back. Yesterday was honestly one of the scariest days of my life and I just felt more safe at home and I just want to spend some time with my family and I just didn't really feel safe being able to walk just back through the halls where someone shot someone. Flannery Sanders is a junior at MHS and she says she's still shaken up after yesterday's events. It definitely brought back a lot of memories and just, I don't know, it just kind of freaked me out seeing all the teachers in there. Charleston School District Superintendent Todd Villardo says he's offered full support to Mattoon High School. There are, of course, a lot of high anxieties around such events, so our school community uh, first reacted like many out of shock, but then immediately into care for and concern for the uh, Mattoon school community. Villardo says resources are continuing to be provided to MHS for emotional support. We did have some of our social workers and counselors and psychologists make the trip to Mattoon to support uh, the students and staff over there who, who, um, who need, need some help today and in the coming days. As for Charleston School District, Villardo says the current safety measures will continue to be in place. Primarily what our focus is on is kids and uh, making sure that we provide care for kids and, and um, this is a good reminder for us and our school community uh, to be vigilant and uh, watch for suspicious behavior and uh, encourage our students to report uh, threatening type behavior. Area school districts are also flooding Mattoon School District's Facebook page with messages of love and support. Mattoon School District Superintendent Larry Lilly says he's visited the student who was shot and says he's recovering in the hospital, is in good spirits, and even joked about catching some slack on his grades. The name of the shooter has, is not being released. He was quickly disarmed by, during the situation by a teacher.